Hello and welcome to another Gelfing and Commander T talk show and this is another report on the Southampton car boot sale. Hello. <coughs> so here we go, this is the weather, it's still quite cold in um, February but uh, at least it's dry. Mm. So let's go with the first items. Uh, it's a cassette player. Oh yeah, I can just make that out. So uh, yeah, I don't know what it's the make is. It Thompson, that's it. <laughs> I'm looking out for a nice cassette player which you can record. Why? Just in case my dictaphone dies. It's a oh, good backup. Oh, you want one of the old ones, but you won't be able to buy any cassettes, blank cassettes for it now. Well, sometimes I've seen that car boot sale. Mm. <laughs> uh, what on earth are those? Suspension forks for mountain bikes. Oh. <laughs> The vase. There's a vase with fake flowers. Is it poppies? I can't make it out. It looks like it could be. There's a picture. Daisies. Are they, is, it, is it that really expensive painting with <laughs> the yellow flowers? No, that is Vincent van Gogh's sunflowers that you're thinking of. And No, I'm afraid it's not. It's a real oil painting. Mm, it could be. In that style, it could be worth millions of pounds. No. Violins and clocks and a barometer and barometers. It will get lighter. Go back again a minute. That um, see over on the far left, those round things with the long handles. It's a Nelson's clock, is it, or something like that? No, I said the round things with the long handles. Oh, those, those. above the, the Nelson clock. Yes. Do you know what they are? They are bed warmers. Hot water bottles. They used to put hot coals in them from the fire and they used to put them in the bottom of the bed because that is sort of Victorian town. That was what they used to use to warm beds uh, through for people. Oh, yes. That's going back for a couple of hundred years or more they've been wow, doing that. they're proper antiques. Well, I mean, those are probably only um, back at the start of this um, of the 20th century, I expect, in the 20s, because obviously rubber hot water bottles and stuff like that weren't invented no. until, I would imagine... 50s, I would have thought. Are they worth anything then for that Not old? Not really, no. Mum and Dad have got a couple, actually. <laughs> okay. Old radios. <clears throat> What's that on the left hand side? No, they're in front of it. Down. That's a radio. They're all radios, I'm oh, sure. I can see it now. It just it looked like it was a box with the lid up. It was difficult. Oh, don't worry. They're all radios. I mean, some some of these sellers they're there to run a little business mm -hmm. on the side because they can't, obviously can't afford to run a shop because mm. there's not enough trade to sustain them. So yeah. they, they have these in their shed and they just take them out and see if they, people want them. So. The ridiculous thing is, is that when you go to places like the shops and stuff now. And you have a look at buying a brand new one and things like that. They've gone back to making the design Old so style. it looks like that, except that it's made out of plastic and metal instead of wood. And well, I think there will be a renaissance then. People don't want to buy cheap rubbish. They mm. want to buy something with a bit of character and be individual. I mean, let's take, for example, calculators or mobile phones and they mass produce them. And then you'll get people think, oh, I don't want the same as what the next person's got. I want something unique. Mm. <laughs> anyway. Train sets. This is an Intercity 125. I actually had that when I was young. Yeah. Yeah, I had the... Um, I bought it from a model shop in Portsmouth. And it's still there. Uh, I think it's called Fratton Model Trains or something. Mm. And... Yeah, this was £25, I remember, when I bought it, just for the engine and the carriages. Yeah. Um, the guy who's selling this with the box and the railways and the power supply and everything, I think he wanted £12 for the whole lot. That was bought straight away. That's and it was nice. exactly the same as what I had. Mm. Um, yeah. Uh, it's a robot thing. It's a robot that dances. <coughs> I keep seeing these. I don't it know if you get one. You can make it dance. You got like a remote control. It can pick up really. things. <laughs> It'd give the cat a fright, wouldn't it? Do you think? Yeah, and what's the point in that? <laughs> yeah. No, it's just something that would never be used. Well, that's interesting. Those. Um, I've seen them in pet shops. They're like acrylic. 
I'm wondering whether or not they Slabs. are. They, they are, are real. Oh yeah, I know. Real bugs. They could. I know National Geographic just recently has been doing a um, a set where you can collect those sorts of things. I'm wondering if that's part of someone's collection. They've decided to just get rid of. That was sold straight away. Mm. So I, I said to the lady, "Well, that gives me the creeps." <laughs> the spiders, anyway. Bugs. Um, this is a box. This is a house it's, clearance it's lot. It's isn't it? No, it's a box of slides. Oh. And the red and yellow box is the viewer. Oh, yeah. Skis. skis. <laughs> Wooden skis. Yeah. It's like quilt. This is a homemade... Yeah, it's a quilt. Quilt from the house clearance. Mm. There's a boat for twelve pounds in a frame. That's nice. Yeah, that's quite nice. That's an angel. There's a pope, isn't it, or uh, bishop? Look at the ball that she's holding. Oh, could be. Don't know. That was sold. Bridge. A uh, box of playing cards and games. Uh, Old bridge, games. bridge, bridge, and bridge. <laughs> Lawn mower. I think this bridge is a popular pastime. Just talking about I've, it, isn't I've it? never, um, I never got into playing bridge. Hmm. Um, As a CD player, uh, JVC, good make. Mm. And this is another good make, Sony. Sony. Stack system. So I could have sworn I've seen that picture before. I have shown you it before, as soon as I took it, because ah. it's someone's medication. medication. Yeah. And I just checked the date on the label, it was 2005, so oh. that had been sitting around in someone's loft. Uh, forks. Are they steak forks or something? I don't know, because the tines look very small. Mm. So I don't know about that. It's coat hangers and a... Um, a plunger. plunger. So funny mixture. Very royal chairs, aren't they? Certainly very, um... They, they go in the hallway. Regal looking, aren't if they? If you have a hallway, you can make your visitors like wait for you. I picnic basket. That's nice. Yeah, not that many people go on picnics these no. days. What's that? Isn't that a, um... It's a radio, a is radio it? A radio thing, like a transmitter thing. That's weird. It looks it looks the part though, doesn't it? Wherever it is. It looks like one of those transmitters you see in a World War Two film or something. Yeah, we could do a sitcom. We're in a <laughs> we're in a pretend submarine, and that'd be one of the props. Uh, um, junk, I think. That's a mixture of bits and bobs, isn't it? <gasps> Calculator. Mm. I think that was a Toshiba. It wasn't old. Record. No. It's a record player. Well, it is. It just. With the record melted, I think. Oh. Uh. <laughs> that's old, that one. That's a camera. Look at the size of that lens. Yeah. Must have been a, a journalist. Well, you'll find it's got a. You'll find up to the silver band almost just before it will be the lens that's with the camera. Yes. And then you'll have that big long one with the telephoto lens, which is the one that you extension bit that you have added on. What kind of um, optical zoom do you think that is? I can't remember now. I know my mum um, has got an Olympus she's had for years, um, and she's got a telephoto lens like that for it. Uh, I can't remember now of hands how far it, but it's, it does zoom in very well. But with technology now, I've, I've got a new camcorder. Well, yeah, as well as that. That's, it's even better than that, and that's handheld. That's 35mm film as well, so nowadays it's all digital, so it's um, it's easier just to get, get around with the um, digital. digital stuff than having to try and develop 35mm film. But um, they're good cameras. Crystals. It's some sort of paperweights. Yeah, I like they? those. Weird. I love the lotus lily at the back, that's very pretty. They look like they're almost glowing in the light by themselves. Yeah, they're nice like this. Tools, bits and bobs. <laughs> Quad pipe. 
Well, that's a kids thing, isn't it? Because it's a little smaller. Oh, that's a nice table. Antique, possibly. Could be. Very nice. Well, what LPs you got now? Oh, not her Herb Albert and the... Fluana Brass. Fluana Brass. What's she, what's she now, doing to him? Love, now that you've left me. Da, 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 dee, 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 dee. She's looking in his ear hole. <laughs> Contact bridge. Oh, goodness me, bridge for beginners. We'll have to learn it because what it seems it? to be it's a popular. It's, like a, it's a thing. Everybody is. Play. Everything is bridge. Bridge. Well, this was in the house clearance, and the next slide. I think you need four players for bridge. Oh. I found this folder inside is how to make money on eBay. <laughs> Go to the car boot sale, buy stuff for 50p yeah. <laughs> and sell it um, and call it vintage. <laughs> See, look at uh, getting the most out of being a eBay selling manager. Make your fortune on eBay. eBay. Yeah, somehow <laughs> I think that's all gone past it now. There's a printer in the house clearance. Mm. Pilates. And this was in the house clearance. I thought they said pirates, but it's not. Pilates. Do they look like pirates? Is it um, <laughs> clenching your... Your pelvic muscles and things like so that. So you don't... Um, it, it you suffer from muscles. incontinence. Yes, it can help with that, but that's not the only thing. Hmm. It helps with pregnant women and things oh, like yes, that as well. Yes. Watership down. It's an old book. <gasps> That's a sad story. Have you seen the film? I have. I have the cartoon. I saw it when I was young, and it's it's a sad. Uh, I can't remember the ending, but there's some bad rabbits in there. Yeah. On there. Was um, General Woundwort or whatever his name is? He's the baddies in charge of the other um, war, and um, nasty man. Yeah. What have we got here? Wrestling with Giants. Okay. Books. There's a little man. It's a Toby jug. I don't think it is. It's a figure, yes, but I don't think it's a Toby jug. No? No. I looked on the bottom. Yes, yeah, not a... Oh, it's got Toby Jug on there. Yes, yeah, made in England. But it is not um, Royal Dalton, so it's not a... a not a... Um, Official. Yeah. Uh, now, this is a cassette recorder, but it didn't have the cable, so I did I passed uh, on that one. Now, the interesting oh, thing is Amorex, and it's made in Korea. Uh. Now, I know there's North and South Korea, so if there's no... This was made before they split, maybe, do you think? Well, it looks like it was made in the early 80s, I would say. And possibly 70s. Anyway. Hairdryer. That's an old hairdryer. Yeah. An antique. Oh, some coin I found. Yeah. Cupro nickel. It's not solid silver. 77. What was in 77? I could tell. That was before I was born. <laughs> There was something happened. There's a commemoration of seventy-seven or something, because I'm sure there was my stamp things that I do with them. Something on seventy-seven. Can't don't remember worry. now. Don't worry about Can't it. Can't remember. It's a camera. There's a camera of a box. Yeah. And I think it had the film, a, yeah, a box of film been. next to it. That's mint, mint Good, condition. Possibly. Kodak camera. Shoe That's polishing. Shoe polishing things. Does anyone polish their shoes these days? Probably not that many. <laughs> it's um, like oh. an old typewriter case. Yes, I think that's a typewriter. There's a Beatles LP there. Uh, it's like a brooch or something. There's an old radio. And a lamp. That's a. That is an old radio. It's a proper old one. Uh. <laughs> Guess inside the box. I'm a clue. Buttons. <laughs> There's a nice little box actually. Friso mint creme de month. What is that? Creme de month is a liqueur. It's a mint liqueur. Uh, could you drink it? 
that are sold. I wouldn't drink that stuff, no. Is it valuable? there's anything in it, no. Yeah. I mean, I can't imagine... This is all part of the house clearance the junk, so... The times. Yes, inside... Ba -ba 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 -ba. A it's, certificate. Um, it's a presentation box, which is oh. empty, but... Your seventy fifth birthday with all our love, Edna, Edna and Matt. Matt. I've just I've scrubbed out all the details. Oh yeah, obviously. But what was it? I don't know. It must have been. Oh, it was empty, was it? It was empty. So I guess it was a, I don't know, a cutlery set or something. Could be box something like that. The Weekly News. It's um, an old magazine. Nineteen fifty seven. Look, look at the price of it. Six p. Yeah. I should have looked inside that. Well, what was it about? The weekly news. So it's probably just. Um, Where's it from? Bits and pieces. Well, I don't know. At no <laughs> point. This is all academic now. You've missed it. It's gone. Oh, we got clothes. House clearance clothes. Drums. Drum, guitars. A xylophone. Oh yeah. How to make a racket and annoy like your neighbours. Actually, the metal one's a glockenspiel, I think. Yes. Games. Uh, anything interesting here? All the King's Men. Oh, there's some puzzles as well. Strategy and tactics of war. Divide and conquer. <laughs> Films. And hot shots. I can't remember it. No, they're not too bad films. It's an antique book. Oh, it's clocks. There's a Collect Sky Plus box. Collectible clocks. Oh, everything on this table was 20p, I remember. Hmm. And they sold the lot. That's strange. What's that supposed to be? I had to look this up. It's a Heath Kit Digital Design Experimenter. And basically, connect the cables to each of those um, cream coloured holes. Uh. And you can test out your circuits and things. Oh, yes, never heard of that. War of the Worlds. We've seen this before, but yeah. it's an LP of the War of the Worlds. Scale electric. 200. That's old. Look at the Formula One car. Mm. It's completely weird, the shape. I love the fact that it's got that and then it's got that little little kiddies toy in front <laughs> yeah. of it. It's like, oh, it's this comparison, you know, Formula One, then you got a little me me. <laughs> PlayStation 2 games next to it. Mm. And this is another box of PlayStation 2 with Crash Nitro Kart. So it's like mm. Mario Kart. Mm, not rubbish for things. I think they're all 50p, those games. Mm. There's some figures. What have we got here? Some sort of planetary... Planetarium, but I think it's missing one. stuff, I think. Well, there's only two or three planets or something. No, well, it's just the Earth and the Moon and that's it, isn't it? I don't know. It is mm. missing stuff, do you think? I reckon it is. What's this furry thing on the bottom left there? <laughs> it looks like a toilet seat to me, but I don't think it is. Is it one of those, um... What you were, a sporran, is it? That could be, you never know. You never Some know. sort of uh, radio at the back there. Yeah. Collectibles A whole, co whole collection of Miller's collectibles. <laughs> Yeah. Well, it's because the price varies so much. It I was, was looking for one, and now there's like millions of them there. Of them there. Well, there are. I mean, they renew, they replay, they've said put out new ones every year or two years. So we. Well, be prices forever. could only go up. That's if it's no, old. No, 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 no. Prices do come down because it all depends on what people are buying. If yeah. more people start buying stuff, the price will go up. But if more people if don't, then the price goes down. It's, cool. <laughs> it's the way things go. Well, I don't know. It's not, a, it's not just an upward trend, that's the thing. Mm. Oh, look, there's... Um, Fred Flintstone. Yeah, it's like a, a bowling... He's bowling, is he? Yeah, um, there's a clue. clock. I it, looks like, I don't know, it looks like that's the back of it, I think, of mine. Do you know what these are? No. These are guitar things, like pedals. Oh. I don't play the guitar, but I know somebody 
played the electric guitar and he collects those. No, I've never seen those before. <laughs> Fingerprints of the gods. A quest for the beginning and the end. Okay. I don't know what that's about. No. Nearly the end. Is that stereo? Phillips. It's quite a nice one. What's box this? Of bits. Oh, a box of watches. It's all full of broken oh. watches, unfortunately. Oh, an elephant. That's nice, isn't it? That is quite nice. Quite nice detail on that. I don't think there's any damage to it. The tusks would be yeah, easily that damaged. Would be the first thing to go. Tusks and the tail, that's a bit. Purcell. Universal gel business line, 150. 15 washes. 30 pounds each? Yeah, and then underneath it says 70 pounds on Amazon. <laughs> I, I haven't seen the seller again. I guess they don't sell that many. Because the thing is, not many people would spend 30 pounds on an item in a car boot sale. Uh. And plus, they're really heavy. Uh. They must be about 20, 30 kilos each. Even more. Mm. Anyway. Is it the washer clothes? Oh, yeah. It's just that they do them that size for like laundrettes and hotels yes. and things like that. Well, that's probably a good deal, but yeah, if you're in business. But if it's for your basic home, then oh, it's still. I don't wash that many clothes. <laughs> Smelly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, emergency lights. Yes, you stick them on the roof of your car again. Fish scales or meat scales. Yes, looks painful. <laughs> Horses. Oh, so set of drawers minus one. They're metal. Yeah, they're quite valuable. Well, it's because they're metal. Quite desirable as well, even in that state. Uh, toaster. Two stereo. Railway World. Only fifty p. <laughs> it's a box full of these magazines. Uh, nice pictures. Though. What on earth is that? I don't know. Oh, it's a pasta machine. Oh, well done. I did think it looked like something you'd thread, uh, feed something through. Cause you, yeah, because you've got the handle there on the um, on the left with the, with the wooden bit. And up the top, I think that little... Um, um, handle. Uh, handle or lever, I think you turn that around and it affects the thickness of the um, the pasta. Did you still use through. that now? Is you it could do, because what happens is, is that the... Um, the well, you just need to sterilise it. These the two um, clamps that you attach those At to the, the surface yes. that you're working on, and then you use it going from that. Last picture. Fighter, aeroplane. Uh, yes. Well, that's the end. Mm. Did you enjoy that? Yeah, there's some different bits and pieces. Well, thanks for joining us. Until next time. Bye bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye.